I think of my father, who dismissed his own dreams as college and graduate. fluent in Japanese, and in 1939, she left Japan, left Tokyo, to come to Mills College at the age of 15. How frightening that must have been. I've heard so many stories today among so many of you about leaving home, but think about leaving home and wondering if you would ever go home again because your country was going to war. She did not speak about her contributions until she was asked by the Japanese government to discuss the amendment, both Numbers 14 and Articles 24, that proclaimed the essential equality of the sexes. And her work has inspired so many amazing tributes, including a documentary film, The Gift from the Atta, and her own memoir, The Only Woman in the Room. She is also, she is a performing arts director for the Japan Society and the Asia Society. She has continued throughout her wonderful life to bring connections between Asia and the United States and Europe and the rest of the world. She currently lives in New York City and she lectures frequently at schools, universities, and other institutions. We are going to hear from Dr. Beata Sirota Gordon, Mills woman, Mills honorary degree recipient. And I want to say that although we're not bestowing an honorary degree on Beata today, like May, I think it is time for Beata to have a Pearl M. And so I will be the president to bestow a Pearl M on Beata Sirota Gordon. Beata, will you come forward and Bring us your words of wisdom. Forty-three. As an 
because she didn't have one. I was delighted by this excellent exchange and promised myself never to buy a pleated dress again. <laughs> I also did not know how to make a bed or do laundry. In Japan, we had servants who did all this. But my classmate, Mills Hall were helpful, and I soon learned the strange American ways. Aurelia Henry Reinhardt was the president of the college at that time, and she encouraged us to study hard for a career so we would be able to compete on an equal basis with men. Women suffered from discrimination, particularly in the business world, and Mills was determined to prepare its students for the struggle ahead. I had seen discrimination against women in Japan. Women had no rights at all. The arranged 